The year was 2020 and 2021, when Patricia, a cryptocurrency company, shot to stardom by sponsoring one of Africa's biggest reality TV shows, Big Brother Niger. The name Patricia became a symbol of innovation and success, drawing millions of eyes to the brand. But behind the glamour and the glitz, a storm was about to take place. The founder of Patricia, Hanu Fejiro Agboje, a charismatic and flamboyant CEO, became that young tech Nigerian entrepreneur who was living the dream and got a lot of people hooked on the idea of easy money. Hanu's journey began in the streets of Wari, Nigeria, where he nurtured dreams of making it big. Driven by ambition and a sharp mind, he founded Patricia in 2017, a platform that offers users an easy way to buy, sell, and store cryptocurrency. But as Patricia's fortunes soared, so did Hanu's appetite for luxury and the finer things in life. Slowly as the company grew, cracks were beginning to show everywhere. Patricia's corporate governance structure didn't even exist, although Hanu repeatedly claimed there was a board he reports to. Hanu continued to enjoy his newfound success after the Big Brother show while the company was gradually about to fail. Allegations of mismanagement with the company started surfacing, with publications from reputable tech journalists and blogs raising eyebrows. Questions about Patricia's financial practices and the CEO's decision-making processes became the talk of the industry. Despite the growing concerns, Hanu continued to defend the company dismissing all allegations as baseless attacks on their success. In 2022, everything fell apart. Customers found out that they could no longer perform Bitcoin transactions, but could carry out transactions in other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, Dogecoin, USDT, etc. They became worried and wanted their money back from Patricia, but unfortunately, they couldn't do so. And when they reached out to the company, Patricia blamed it on a hack. These customers became very apprehensive that their hard-earned money had vanished. Guys, you know what I'm saying? I lost money. But you just come to me. So people would think I'm talking about one million, five million, eight billion, two billion. Guys, I have never been so shattered in my life before. Dreams of making quick money had turned into a big financial mess. Most affected customers were those who thought they could make a living from Patricia and young folks whose dreams got broken. Since crypto isn't allowed or regulated in Nigeria, and Patricia's office had moved to Estonia and Europe, legal options came at a huge cost for Nigerians because you can't imagine a customer spending $10,000 in legal fees when the amount they have on the app is $12,000. Employees who worked in the company were surprised to hear that it was a hack. They refuted the claim, saying it was just an internal breach that the company was working to resolve. An ex-employee claimed that what happened wasn't a serious breach, as it was just a case of ghost employees. One of the sources used to work on the company's cybersecurity team, and interestingly, that source said that the team was not aware of the hack when the company announced. Other ex-employees claimed they experienced a breach due to the Big Brother Niger sponsorship, which significantly exposed the company to cyber risks. When Hanu, the CEO, was asked about the situation, he disclosed that governorship candidate Wilfred Bonds and his associates were arrested in connection with $750,000 at the time. Ex-employees revealed that the hack wasn't enough to cause the company to fail or prevent customers from getting their money. They revealed that Hanu was the sole person in the company that was authorized to move money, so he must know better what really happened. A source that spoke with TechPoint Africa disclosed that Hanu has been residing in the United States because of the hack issues and has been living a lavish lifestyle. It's no news that Hanu has bought several cars that cost thousands of dollars. Some of these cars include Tesla, 2021 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon, Lexus ES350, and others. He also got his longtime girlfriend a Range Rover that trended in the social media space. He once posted in his Instagram story, my cars are trending, I thought you know I do dope things already. If not for anything, his lavish lifestyle could have shown the customers and potential customers that Patricia was a red flag. But many got carried away because in Nigeria, people care less about how some individuals are making their money. Efforts were carried out to verify the claim that only Hanu had sole access to move money. But all proved abortive as the ex-chief financial officer didn't respond to the claim when asked. 
when Hanu was asked about all the claims, he dismissed them, saying, When you're running a company the size of Patricia, there are bound to be detractors, staff, close acquaintances and rivals alike. Especially in times of crisis, disgruntled individuals, even those unfamiliar with Patricia, will spin a narrative. We fell victim to a hack and lost a sizable portion of customer assets. As the pressure mounted, Hanu's attempt to defend the company backfired, drawing more criticism. Notable figures in the tech community, including Ezra Alubi, the CTO of Paystack, took to Twitter to shade Hanu, highlighting the audacity of gaslighting customers after spending their funds to project a false image and then trying to bully journalists. He tweeted, It takes a lot of gall to mindlessly spend customer funds to appear larger than life. Blame a hack that either didn't happen or was a result of sheer recklessness. Given the lack of post-mortem, be on the brink of company collapse, then proceed to dunk on journalists. After the cyber hack in 2022 that Patricia claimed led to losses of about 2 million US dollars. To resolve the debt, the company provided an option for its customers to convert their balances into company shares. While some customers considered it, others did not. The company also controversially replaced customers' assets, previously held in Naira or Bitcoin, with a newly launched native token, Patricia Token, PTK, without their consent. While the company claims to have repaid 24% of customers, comments from several customers suggest only few people have received any form of payment. In October 2023, Patricia announced a partnership with DLM Trust, a subsidiary of an investment bank, to initiate the first round of customer repayments. However, less than 24 hours after, DLM Trust canceled the partnership due to multiple breaches in the terms and conditions of agreement they had. In 2021, a beg now known as Pocket App paid $2 billion to be the headline sponsor of Big Brother Nija Show, while Patricia paid $1 billion to be the associate sponsor. However, today, Pocket App is still standing and waxing strong in business, but Patricia, the once promising company, is now a shadow of its former self. In the end, Patricia's collapse was inevitable. The lessons from Patricia's story are clear. Unchecked ambition, poor governance, and a disregard for ethical practices can lead to ruin. The fall of Patricia serves as a reminder that success demands not only innovation, but integrity, transparency, and a steadfast commitment to ethical practices. As we look to the future, let us remember the story of Patricia, a tale of ambition and downfall. May it inspire a new generation of leaders to build with care, lead with humility, and succeed with honor.